Hey guys, Mike Seifert here. I wanted to give you some business tips of the day. Number one, in general, uh, when you're in business, you want to always be professional. Um, I know it's very hard, even for myself, if somebody upsets you or makes you mad or you see something that's, um, you know, you think someone's done something to you, always first investigate the facts. Find out what happened first. Don't just assume that somebody did something to you on purpose. You don't want to use foul language. You don't want to call somebody up and curse them out. Um, I think everybody's guilty of this, even myself. Um, you know, back years ago, I used to not control myself and call someone and assume something and, and say, hey, you SOB, you did this to me. Why did you do this? Um, these days, I tend to be very careful with that. Um, even if I'm extremely mad, I try not to raise my voice and scream at somebody. Because once you start raising your voice and you start screaming at somebody, Basically, you're losing control, and the person can sense that. It's, it shows a lack of control of yourself and a lack of professionalism. So when something happens, stay in control. Don't get mad right away. Look at the facts first, and then when you call somebody to ask, find out facts. Don't call and scream at them or assume. Ask them, you know, do you know anything about this? Um, or, you know, if you know for a fact they did something, just say, you know, I'm, I am upset. I am offended that you did this, and I would let you – you know, like you to correct this, or I would like you to, you know, solve it in a manner where it's not too confrontational, but your point gets across that you're upset, but you're remaining professional at the same time. Number two, always try to dress neatly and clean. Um, you know, when you're out there and you're walking into a, especially an important client's uh, a home or office or business, just make sure you're wearing business casual or business clothes um, or at least uh, a suit, depending on how high the, uh, you know, how sophisticated the transaction is. If it's uh, something to do with financing and, you know, you know everybody else is wearing a suit, make sure you wear a suit and match that. Um, if it's a real estate listing, sure, you want to try to wear a suit, but um, if you're in a dress shirt and dress pants, um, and you look very neat and presentable and you're professional, that's fine too. Your professionalism will always outwin somebody's image. Um, it, well, I can't say that in all cases because some people are just so image conscious that they overlook the substance of a person, especially a business or salesperson. So I think if you're professional, um, it makes a big difference, uh, even if you're not the best dressed person. So just remain professional, dress neatly at all times, and, uh, you know, that's that's the best thing I can say on that. Um, other tips in business, um, education. I just want to say this. If you don't have a formal education, such as a two-year or four-year degree, that's okay. Don't feel bad about that. There's so many successful people without a degree, it's not even funny. Half the time, a college degree is such a waste of money, and it's, it's not going to advance you in anything um, if you're working for yourself at least. Um, if you're working for a large corporation, as you get higher in education with an MBA or a master's degree or a doctorate, yes, that will probably most likely advance you. I can't say for sure because I don't know. I'm not in corporate America at some of these big companies. I don't know how their systems work necessarily. Um, but it will advance you. I mean, most, you know, if you work for the government, I know if you have an MBA or a doctorate, you get higher pay. Um, so things of that nature. Um, if you don't have a degree, a formal education, always make sure that you continue your non-formal education, meaning that you read books, um, you know what you're doing, and that you're good. So sometimes experience counts more than a college degree. There's a lot of young people that have a college degree, but they have no experience at all. And that could be detrimental to a business. Uh, you know, if somebody uh, is trying to sell somebody's business, but they don't have a, you know, they have a finance degree, uh, but they don't know how to sell a business or how to communicate with people properly and, and what to do, and they don't, you know, then uh, that's not going to help. But if you have somebody that maybe does not have a college education, but is highly skilled in selling a business or buying real estate, and they know what they're doing, they know their numbers, and they can prove it, and they have a track record, then that's the right person to hire. So all I'm saying is, education-wise, never stop learning. I read hundreds and hundreds of books. I have a stack of books at my house that are just up to the ceiling, um, starting with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, books, you know, The Millionaire Next Door, The Millionaire Mine, books of that nature. So never stop learning is all I can say. Always be open to reading stuff and have an open mind. Don't just think you know everything. Make sure if you hear of an idea or you hear somebody talking, open your mind up and just investigate. Always remember, investigate what you're hearing. You don't have to believe it until you've, you know, look into the facts and find out what's going on. But always 
investigate and keep an open mind because you don't want to underestimate a competitor or what they're doing. Um, every competitor that I, you know, I experience, um, I always respect that competitor. Um, I never underestimate them because people are amazing out there and there's a lot of things your competitor can do that you don't know. So with our competitors, we congratulate them. I hope everybody's successful in whatever endeavor they, they are in. Um, but we never underestimate our competitors. We want to make sure that we're, we're always educating ourselves with the newest and latest products, the latest technology. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you're into finance, for example, uh, you know, we do business brokering now at the company at New Michigan Realty. So um, you have to know your numbers. You have to know how to read an income statement and a balance sheet and things of that nature. So make sure you educate yourself. That's the third thing here I want to talk about. Always keep learning every day. So um, I hope this helps. And uh, again, feel free to comment below leave criticisms or comments, no problem. I want to hear anything that somebody has to say. I uh, appreciate your time, and until next time, uh, we will see you again. Have a great day.